It's been a while since I made my Sonalist video, and I've been wanting to follow up with a tutorial on how to make your own Project Sakai charts for Sonalist. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you guys how to get started with writing your own charts. So there's a few things you're going to need to download before we get started. You're going to need Sonalist downloaded and installed on your device. Fellow Sekai tuber Billium has put out a great video explaining how to do that, so please check it out if you haven't already. I'll have a link in the description of this video. Second, you're going to need Discord, then you'll need to join the Chart Cyanvis Discord server. I'll have a link to that in the description as well. And lastly, you're going to need an editor. Now, there's a few different ones out there, but I personally use Miku Miku World, and specifically the branch made for Chart Cyanvis. And of course, I'll have a link to this in the description as well. So all you need to do is scroll down to the bottom and click the download link here. And to keep everything organized, I'm going to save this into a Sonalist folder that I made. And this is also where I'm going to store all my projects and such. Now we're going to need a song to chart. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably already have a song in mind that you want a chart of. For this video though, I'm going to be using the song Rebellion by Juggernaut. And for the sake of time and keeping this video short, I'm only going to be using a cut version of just the intro. I'll also have this cut version available to download in the description in case you want to use it to follow along with the video. And if you're watching this video in the future and it's no longer in the description, that probably means I ran into some legal copyright issues and uh, let's just not talk about that. Anyways, I downloaded the song and I put it into its own folder titled Rebellion. Now inside your Sonalist folder, there should be two things, a folder for your song and the Miku Miku World zip file. Using a program like WinRAR, go ahead and unzip the Miku Miku World file and extract it here. Now there should be a Miku Miku World folder. Inside it is the Miku Miku World application. Double click that and it should open up the program. So this is it, this is Miku Miku World. This is where you're going to be spending the next few days in. <laughs> Writing charts is pretty tedious and very time consuming, not gonna lie but hopefully following this video will help you get started pretty quickly. So let's get into it. First thing you wanna do is on the right side of the program, click on the chart properties tab. This is where you're going to put in all the metadata for the chart. So title is the song name, which in our case is Rebellion. Designer is you, the chart maker. So here, loud loser. Artist is the artist of the song and that is Juggernaut, with a period. And Jacket is the picture that's going to be displayed for your song in the Sonalus song select. And just for the sake of this video, I'm just gonna be using one of my stickers for this. Lane extension is some advanced stuff that's out of the scope of this video, so you can just leave it as zero. Now let's move down to audio properties. For music file, you're going to want to click on the three dots and locate your song file. In this case, it's in our Rebellion folder, and if you're using a different song, just make sure that it's either an mp3, .wav, or .ogg. Because those are the formats that Chart Cyanvis accepts on their server. So if your song is not one of these three formats, you can probably find a converter online, or you can try to convert it yourself using a free program like Audacity. So once you've found your song, click open, and now in the main section of the editor, you should be able to see waveforms in the middle of the lanes. That's great, now if you hit the space bar, it should start playing. And you can press space again to pause. Now go ahead and click on the stop button to return to the beginning, or you can click on this arrow here and it'll jump to which measure you specify. In this case, measure zero means the beginning of the song. Next, what you wanna do is set the song's BPM or beats per minute. This is basically how fast or slow the song is. In our case, Rebellion is 170 BPM. So we're gonna left click and type in 170, then click outside of the window to close it. The waveform and everything should adjust to the newly updated BPM. Now, if you click play, the lines should match up with the beat of your song. If they don't, you can just adjust the offset on the side here to align them more precisely. Now, if you don't know what your song's BPM is, don't worry, it's actually pretty easy to find out. If your song is available on streaming services like Spotify or Apple Music, there's a good chance that you can just Google the song, artist, 
and add BPM to the end of it. There will usually be sites available that will tell you that information. Sometimes though, they'll display something like 64 BPM or something really low. Most of the time it's an error and all you need to do is just double the number. So its actual BPM is 128. And if your song's BPM isn't available online anywhere, you can use a BPM finder tool. This is the one I like to use and have been using it for probably over 10 years now. Basically all you have to do is play your song, click here, and tap the spacebar in time with your song. If you're pretty confident with your timing, you can probably do it in 20 taps. But just to be safe, the more taps the better. The tool basically takes the closest average of your taps, and this is usually the correct BPM. Anyways, let's get back to Miku Miku World. Now that we have our BPM set, it's time for us to finally get to charting. Sort of. Take a look at the top menu. See all these tools right here? At this point, we're going to ignore everything besides these two. The selector tool, hotkey 1, and the tap tool, hotkey 2. You can press 1 and 2 on your keyboard to swap between these two. This is something I like to do when I'm charting, is to put down temporary notes that follow the rhythm of the song, and not really focus on the patterns or the positioning of the notes just yet. So I'll listen to the song, and place notes down as I go along, and I'll switch back to my selector tool, and if you click on an empty spot on the lane, or even outside of the lanes, this will move your playhead, and you can press space to start the song from there. Also, when you're placing down notes, you might notice that some beats of the song will fall in between where you're able to place the notes. And that's because of this setting down here. It's set to 8 division, which means the measure is divided into 8 sections, or in other words, you can only place down 8th notes. Clicking on the drop down menu and selecting 16 division should give you the ability to place 16th notes. If your chart is starting to look really dense with all the notes too close together, at the bottom you can click on the magnifying glass to zoom in and out of your chart. So the reason why I'm placing down temporary notes now is so that I can just focus on the rhythms of the song. Because trying to figure out if this note should be a 16th note versus a triplet or any other weird rhythm can be really overwhelming if you're also trying to figure out if this should be a 5 stair pattern or maybe turn this into a hold with a flick. I'd rather just focus on one thing at a time. And if you're having trouble figuring out the rhythm, you can also use this at the bottom of the screen to slow down the playback speed to 75%. You can go lower, but I found that 50% and 25%, it starts to become pretty distorted and it makes it harder to listen for certain notes. Anyways, I do this all the way to the end of the song, or if you want, you can do this section by section. But once I'm happy with the rhythm on the notes, I'll go back to the beginning and here is where the fun begins. Now we can start moving and placing notes. You can use the selector tool and the tap tool to move notes around and adjust their sizing. You can also go to the top right and click on note properties. Lane is how far right you want the note to be placed. Width is how wide you want the note to be. And you can also turn it into a trace note. So players don't have to time their taps, they just need to make contact. You can also turn notes into critical notes. And then lastly, you can set the note to be a flick or directional flick. Alternatively, you can also use the tools at the top and overwrite each note by clicking them. And this is probably the faster method. So let's quickly go back to the beginning. And I wanna add a hold here. Let's do that by pressing the three key and that will switch us to the hold tool. Placing a hold onto the lane will give us two components, a start and an end. And you can move both independently and each one has their own set of properties that you can adjust on the side as well. While the hold tool is selected, if you click on the start of the hold, you can cycle through different ease types to shape how you want the hold to be. And switching to the hold mid tool or pressing the four key, you can add separations in the hold in case midway through a hold you want it to go a different direction. Now with that, you should have all the tools and knowledge to finish your chart. So now that you've gotten everything charted, What's next? Well, first off, save your project. In case you want to come back in the future to revise stuff or reference things, I just saved it into my rebellion folder. Next, you're going to click on file and then click export USC. And feel free to name it whatever you want. 
I suggest using the song name though to help make finding it easier. This file contains all the notes and information that you've written into the chart. And this is what we're going to be uploading to the server. So now let's quickly switch over to your device that's running Sonalus. If you haven't already, make sure you've made an account and you're logged in. Now let's hit play. And if you haven't already added the chart Cyanvis server, go ahead and do that right now. Just click the plus button here and enter the server address. Once you have the server added, go ahead and click on it. And the first option is to sign in. Great, now we're signed in. Now let's go back to our computers and go to the Chart Cyanvis website shown here. At the top right, click on the menu and click Sign In. You should be presented a QR code. If you go back to Sonalist on your device and go back to the main menu, there's a button that says Link. Click on that, and I like to use a camera to scan the QR code. And if done correctly, it'll ask, do you want to sign in? Click Confirm. And now when you go back to the Chart Cyanvis website, you should be signed in at the top right. Go ahead and click on that, and now you can go down to Post Chart. Now before you do anything, I highly, highly advise you to click on the Guidelines link and give it a quick read. It's basically rules about what you can and cannot post on their server. So it's pretty important considering breaking these rules can result in your chart being deleted or worse, your account could be banned. And one final thing before we can upload the chart, you have to link your Discord account to your Chart Cyanvis account. There's a link here with instructions on how to do that. It's really easy and straightforward. And once you've done that, now you should be able to upload your files by either clicking on the buttons and locating your files inside the correct folders or an easier method, you can drag and drop all the files onto the window. Go ahead and fill out each text box. Title is title of the song, composer is the artist, and you can add tags and a description if you'd like. Set the difficulty and then for the visibility, make sure it's set to private. And if everything looks correct, go ahead and click on the upload button. So now that your chart is on the server, how do we access it? Let's hop back into Sonalist and enter the Chart Cyanvis server. Scroll down to Levels, which should be the second option, and your charts should be visible here. Go ahead and select it and hit play to test it out. So now that you've played your chart for the first time, you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, that sucks. Well, that's what my first thought usually is. And that's because for me, my first version of a chart is never perfect. Playing your chart, you probably realize some things. Oh, this note placement is kind of awkward, or this note is kind of offbeat, and just things you don't realize when you're writing the chart. So go ahead and go back to Miku Miku World, open up your project and make your adjustments and fixes, and then export a new USC file. Name it V2 or something to indicate that this is a newer version. And head back to the Chart Cyanvis website. Click on your account on the top right and go down to My Charts. There should be an entry to the song you uploaded previously. Click on that and on the right side there should be an edit button. Here is where you can upload your updated USC file and press update. Now it should be updated on the server and you can go ahead and test it out again on Sonalus. And that's pretty much it. Just follow these steps again to make as many revisions as you want until you're satisfied. I also suggest maybe screen recording the chart and sending it to some friends for review to see if they notice anything weird. Or they can give input on what difficulty to rate it, and etc. But once you're happy with the chart, go ahead and set it to public for the world to enjoy. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. This was meant to be a beginner's guide on how to make your own Project Sakai charts for Sonalus. I tried to make it as straightforward and easy as possible, but if there's anything I missed or if you're still pretty confused about something, go ahead and let me know in a comment down below. Alternatively, if this video helped you in any way, feel free to let me know in a comment as well. And if you have a chart that you made that you want to share, drop a link in a comment for us to check it out. Or you can leave your username so we can search it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. This video has taken me forever to make. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, drop a like on the video because it helps me out a ton. And as always, here's a video YouTube thinks you might enjoy.